Hello everyone, I'm Shinzo Machida and today I'm going to talk about the 5 ways to practice your straight punch. Let's check it out. Number 1. Solo drill. I really recommend you train in front of the mirror to see your technique, the trajectory of the movement, the coordination of the movement. You take advantage for this moment because you don't have partner, so you don't need to worry about distance, you don't need to worry about timing, and you don't need to worry how strong you have to hit. You're just gonna keep focus to yourself and to your body, the arms, the base, the hip. Let's practice this right now. Now let's do straight punch for the simple basic technique. Let's do this that you call Chizentai, natural position. I put my hands there, let's keep focus from the bottom to the top. The legs, the hip, centralize. The elbow, one straight, other elbow, bring the elbow close to your rib. When you punch, the elbow should be straight and turn your hand at the end, one. And remember, use the two big knuckles, that's the first part you have to contact. Two, three, and little by little, you're gonna scratch a little bit your arm. Four, scratch your arm to your body. Five, six, seven. Then I'm gonna speed up more the movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the breath is so important. When I end of the movement, at the end of the movement, I breath out. Seven, eight, up. Next step, to keep doing the solo drill, the solo training. To basic stance in Japanese called Zenk Sudachi. Put the hands and punch. One, hip is square. Two, sideways, hip to the side. Three, four, five. And one count now, you're gonna do two punch. One, two, three, four. Centralize when you do the reverse punch. After that, let's progress to the fight stance. One, move your front leg and apply two punch. One, two straight punch. Keep focus to your body, to your technique. Stance, hip, shoulder, elbow and the knuckles of your hands. One, boom, and ready. Two, and ready. Stay there for one second and you come back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. If you practice this drill, it looks like it's very simple but the best techniques is made by simple things. So that you can have to create this routine to practice every day. And you're gonna see one day, you're gonna have a good and better result. Number two, punching bag. The punching bag is a very good instrument that you can use to take advantage to improve your power. First, Make sure you use your good stance, and the stance make your hip churn. The hip churn, project your arms, shoulder keep it down, elbow align, and you use the big knuckles to punch. When you use the punching bag, you have to take care to not see the target here, and try to punch only put strength anyway, no. Try to do your best to keep your all technique that you practice in front of the mirror. Remember, try to keep this solo drill, but now apply how to use the punching bag. The punching bag is gonna give you the better way to use and contract your body. Because if you practice only the solo drill, when you have to punch someone, when you have to punch the punching bag, you're not gonna know when and how to use and contract your muscle. So for that punching bag, you're gonna give you more reality about those techniques. So I'm gonna recommend you to do the fight stance and only do Gyaguzuki, the simple one. One, 
You start with no power, but try to create power from the legs, from the ground. Two, three, four. And little by little, you're gonna feel the back. You're gonna feel your arms. So that's gonna improve how to use the punching bag. The same, for example, if you're training soccer, you have to know how, which part of the hand you have to use when you have to kick the ball. If you kick it by yourself, you can kick it without the ball, one, two, three, it's not gonna give you all the same feeling when you have to punch the real soccer ball. It's the same. As much as you kick the soccer ball, you're gonna feel and you're gonna learn which part of the foot you have to use to get the better result, to kick stronger. The same work with the punching bag. If you use only the solo drill, which is good, but you don't transfer this for the punching bag to give you all the power and how to contract your body, which part of the hand you have to use, that's not gonna give you the reality. So I really recommend practice your technique straight punch to the punching bag. Each, it, some, and two punch. Each, up, up, up. Start simple and little by little you're gonna progress a little bit to the harder techniques. Number three, punching ball, snake, or even like the dummy, like a bobby for example. That's the one gonna train the precise, to be precise, the precision of your technique. So you're gonna start first with the simple one, make sure you use the big knuckles. When you punch this ball, if the ball goes straight, it means you'll punch all straight. But if the ball go uh, open and go to different directions, that show that you have to improve, make your technique go straight more. So you're here and go one, two, start slow, three, use the right distance and work four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. This is a little bit harder than punching bag because you have to aim correctly and make the techniques very precise to use the centralize your punch. But you have to accept when you go to the side here, when the ball goes to the side. And little by little you're gonna correct. Don't feel frustrated if the ball goes to the side. Little by little you're gonna create this as your own routine, everyday routine, and you're gonna get better and better. I will show you a little bit with more speed. As soon as you get, you're going to go speed up. Number four, folks meet. The folks meet is going to help you to improve your footwork and combine with your technique. That's going to give you the reality about the distance. And also, you can apply a straight punch during the movement, which gives you a more situation close to the real fight. So let's see. Let's start, let's start a little bit with the stationary punch. So Gag is the key first. One, two, three. Now move to the side. One, I move and I punch. Two, three, footwork and I punch. Four, five. Now I move back. One, I go. Move forward. Two. And now you can incorporate two punch, two straight punch. Kizami Zuki, Gabi Zuki. H, I side. Hip, thumb, chi back. It's very important you combine everything that you learn from the drill number one, solo drill. Punching bag, precision with the ball or snake instrument that you used before. And now you're gonna use the fox meat that you're gonna combine movement and apply a technique straight punch. That's gonna give you more reality. Number five, partner drill. I'm gonna start with a counter technique, use my straight punch. 
So now I'm here, Muniz is gonna throw the jab. One, I'm parry, and I counter, Kizan. Gyakuzuki, two, parry, Kizan. Now Muniz is gonna do Kizan Zuki, Gyakuzuki. One, two, parry, parry, Gyakuzuki. The partner drill is gonna give it more reality because now your partner is moving and give it and throw the punch toward to you, which make you have like a better reaction, block and counter. The real situation could happen this during the fight. So now how to train in the application of straight punch in the real scenario. So that's what gonna practice right now. I can count it three times the last one. Stay stationary, and he's gonna move, move, move. When we step to the front, then I'm gonna punch. Move. Ah. 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 The last part that I show, I demonstrate when I attack, when we will just step to the front. So I get his time, and I apply my straight punch. So this I'm gonna practice straight punch with more reality with my opponent and my partner move and give me the situation that I'm gonna apply my straight punch. Bonus technique. You cannot forget about the Mike Uara, the old school tool to improve your straight punch. This is a very important is a piece of wood covered with a little cushion here that could be a uh, leather or could be a sponge so you can do this if you're home if you have the good wood and a little iron so prepare the fight stance and you're gonna use your knuckles and make everything the legs the hip project your arms towards to the microwave make this as a routine to improve your straight punch I'm sure you're gonna be good with your straight punch, precise and strength.